and uh, for this advanced functions topic we're going to talk about the use of parametric expressions or parametric equations in helping us to factor uh, otherwise complicated expressions that would require us to do things differently and perhaps uh, do things uh, in a more complicated way which might take more work. The idea of parametric equations of course is to save us work um, obviously, if there's a simpler way to um, factor a polynomial or to factor a rather complicated expression, uh, I would suggest you use it. But parametric equations sometimes do a lot of work in making very complicated expressions into something simpler. So the main use is to make an expression simpler by way of substitution. Let's say, for example, we have this expression, or rather I'm writing an equation here, 3 multiplied by 3 to the power 2x plus 1 and that equals 10 times 3 to the x minus 2 and we're asked to solve for x. It's not so bad if we maybe let n be 3 to the power of x and we also notice that 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x is 3 to the 2x so that takes care of one of our other the 3 to the 2x case, just in case you may have thought that was something that was unreachable. And uh, that's like saying n times n is n squared. So in our polynomial we have 3n squared plus 1 which is equal to 10 multiplied by n minus 2 if we had to rewrite that exponential expression differently. Now we have just an ordinary quadratic and we can bring everything to one side and make it all equal to zero. 3n squared minus 10n um, plus 3 equals zero. So solving uh, 3n times n, we just, uh, or 3n and n are the two expressions we put in front and the second, the second part of the second term in each binomial we'll just fill in with negative 3 and negative 1 and it works out so that n is either a third or it's equal to 3. Well if it's a third then uh, yeah so we have 3n minus 1 that makes a third n minus 3 gives us the factor 3. So 3 to the x if it's equal to 1 third then x would be equal to negative 1. 3 to the negative 1 is 1 third and if 3 to the x equals 3 then that's like saying 3 to the 1 is 3, so x equals 1. And so here we have, as you can see, two solutions, or two answers, um, in terms of a solution. And this is one way, but parametric equations tend to make life easier. Now here's another kind of problem where you're asked to factor. Now let's say that we were asked to factor this. six times the quantity x squared minus one all squared plus 23 times x squared minus one plus seven. Now notice that x squared minus one is kind of like a common term in two of the expressions. So if we let n equal x squared minus one we get six uh, n squared plus 23 n plus seven. We fit that into a quadratic formula. Maybe we could have grouped the terms as well or maybe someone could have seen a solution easily. But the surefire way is the quadratic formula where we discover that n is either negative a third or negative 3.5. And uh, 3.5 is kind of like negative seven halves and this allows us to factor the, uh, the quadratic to three n plus one times two n plus seven. And substitution uh, gives us 3x squared minus 2 multiplied by 2x squared plus 5 when we work out the terms. But of course we're not quite done. 3x squared minus 2 is kind of like a difference of squares even though the 3 and the 2 don't appear to be perfect squares. But that's fine, we can work them out into square roots. And notice now we have three factors and two actual two of them actually giving real roots. The 2x squared plus 5 will not give real roots. And so uh, finally, this is our fully factored expression.